with Sherman TV, John Mines Cooper, so a two on win. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, a little bit tighter than it should be at the end, um, just with the goal, which was disappointing not to come away with a clean sheet, but all in all, a really positive um, performance and obviously the result to match. I thought we were, we were dominant. We were we started really bright with the ball, moving it around well, continued as we kind of left off the last couple of games um, and really strong um, in the final third of the pitch to create a number of chances. Um, obviously got the goals, had to tweak a couple of things with obviously Max's his injury and coming off, but I thought then we were to a man absolutely outstanding, backed by a really good uh, away support and worthy winners of, of the three points. We know now it can be um, rest recovery this kind of time of year and we've got to get straight back to work and prepare because clearly they'll be hurting and they'll be ready for us um, and obviously players coming back into contention for them as well. So the all in all a really well deserved three points. I thought we were, we're absolutely outstanding today. Yeah, as you say, obviously very comfortable and that was evident right from the start, kept putting the pressure on high up the pitch. And it worked, obviously. Game plans come to fruition. It has to be carried out by the, the lads. They're fully committed to it. So we went after them toe to toe. We pressed really well, got them into areas where we could win the ball back. Uh, most pleasing, probably, thing for us and the immediate reflections is when we got the ball back. I thought we were brave. I thought we were really good going forward. We created multiple chances. Um, Sam kept the, the back door closed for long periods of the game. Um, we were able to kind of settle and have sustained possession. We were able to put passes together, work our way up to the pitch. Not something that's really been as, as evident for us at the start of the season, but has really come together. Some good combinations, some partnerships in, in midfield today as well, working well um, and being able to create chances. So we thought we were really, really strong. Um, lucky, you know, maybe just the, the odd goal in it at half time and then um, a really good chance as well uh, just before half time. But ultimately, get the three points and go on to the next game. Got to back it up now with a, a strong festive period going into that new year. So it's Milanic Alley with the open goal. It certainly loves a goal down here. Yeah, and it's a kind of trademark for him now, isn't it? People, if people show him off his, his right, he can go on the other side and, and vice versa. So, um, you know, the benefit of us being in and around the Christmas period, which is obviously our jobs and what we do, is that we can work on the set pieces, we can work on things that are a bit different and can hopefully uh, exploit and, and expose some areas that we feel are vulnerable. So it was great to get Millie Ali 1v1 in that situation um, from the short corner and be able to work it back out to him. And you know, you've seen it, he's done it obviously at the other end of the pitch in different circumstances, but he can be a match winner for us and he's, he's popped up there. But to be honest, he can take, and the goal scorer in terms of Cookie as well, can take an awful lot of credit, but I think he was backed up by a superb defend, a defensive performance when we didn't have the ball. I thought we were brilliant, really aggressive on the front four. I went right after them. We won the ball back centrally. Kane and um, uh, Jack Hunter in the centre of midfield, I thought were outstanding and physical and, and got to grips with their midfielder and, and their kind of change in shape that you know, was a little bit different to what we were expecting. So, yeah, decent, very, very strong performance. Just in that first half, Max Wright, full stuff with injury. Do you have an, up, uh, an update on that? Yeah, just needs to get uh, assessed by Azza further, but it looks like he's rolled his ankle just in the mud. I think he's slipped just as his turn is obviously low centre of gravity, twisting and turning on that pitch. I thought it started bright as well, both trying to press him, trying to win the ball back and get some deliveries into the box, which we couldn't quite get on the end of. So disappointed for him. I think he's produced them and developed so much over this season. He's been managed really well by the medical staff and the physical staff to get him a run of games now. And I think people are seeing the best of Max Wright. So, you know, gutted for him if it is a, a longer stint on the sidelines, but I have no immediate news in terms of how he is. Of course, going into the second half, I'm sure it would have been just a call for more of the same. And then, of course, Jamie Cook doubling our lead. Yeah, because we're in the same situation this time last year here, um, leading 1-0, although under slightly different circumstances with the kind of ebb and flow of the game. We were more on top today. We just need to make sure that we kept compact, kept our shape well, um, stopped their threats, stopped their players receiving it, and being able to run at us, which they can do. Um, and then when we have the ball, just keep stretching play and keep, keep getting our, our match winners on the ball in, in areas where they can hurt them. So I thought we were absolutely relentless in that second half and obviously produced the, the second goal. Ultimately, as a staff, we always want to make it a bit more comfortable and get a couple, a couple more. Um, and then obviously, if you don't uh, leave the back door open towards the end of the game, it can be a bit hairy, but you know, all in all, I think we'd be really pleased with that as an away performance to back up the last away performance at Gateshead as well. Absolutely, and of course, probably the only disappointing in the afternoon is conceding that, that late goal, but it's the, the result that matters. Yeah, frustrated. Um, I think we all will be. Uh, maybe over time and the emotions of the game die down and it'll subside a little bit, but I think we have to take um, a lot of heart from the fact that we've absolutely execute, executed a game plan perfectly today. We've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a really strong outfit, um, a team who will obviously be hurting and be be able to come back at us and give us another test at the Shea on, on New Year's Day um, but to a man I thought we were absolutely outstanding backed by a, a brilliant support as well so it's been a really solid day and now we just go and rest recover and make sure that preparation's right you know short 
kind of turnaround now and um, unusual playing a team so close together and um, back-to-back games and that the game in the FA Trophy as well so we'll be fully prepared the lads have been brilliant over this festive period and uh, making sure that we're committed to the kind of the program we've had and, and you saw it I think it was evident today I thought they were absolutely outstanding. And Saturday's result in front gives, gives confidence for, for that return fixture? Very much so yeah and I think they'll come back at us they'll be strong obviously change a slight shape today for them I thought we handled that really well and as a staff, the most pleasing thing is probably how much better we were with the ball. I think we had long passages of possession. We were able to play through them and hurt them and a bit of a purpose to us when we had the ball. And that's been something that's been worked on throughout the season and kind of just come into fruition now. So uh, more of the same for us. We know it'll be a strong test. We've got to back it up again uh, and obviously get these points and get up into the and stay in the playoffs. You know, it's really tight around that area. Haven't seen how the results have gone today, but we know we want to be right come there at the end of the season. And we've got a, a tough run, obviously, going into uh, early January, but the full focus will just be on altering them at home on New Year's Day. Thank you.